Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of the Grace Gotham Museum of Whimsy and Curated Hoarding. I'm your host, Grace Gotham. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you three items. Two of them are modern, meaning, you know, made fairly recently, and one of them is vintage. The first item I'm going to show you is something that I bought back in 2004 or 2005. Um, I had been in this phase where I was looking for all these uh, independent designers, and there was sort of like a boom of independent designers being able to showcase their wares, whether it be at like fashion incubators, where it was like, you know, a store that had a whole bunch of booths in it and all these independent designers or flea markets of such. But this one I bought on the street in Soho. There was a guy who looked very, very much like RuPaul out of drag, if you can imagine that, um, who had this beat up van and out of the back of the two open doors, he had these really interesting items, uh, including this. This is a belt and it is hand painted with some either some kind of stencil or he was trying to explain it to me and it's been so long I'm not 100% <laughs> sure if I remember he said he stenciled it and then hand painted where the stencil didn't totally take but um, it's basically a remnant of uh, suede, black suede and this whole thing I'm gonna have to open the whole thing up for you. It's a very, very wide belt, and the whole thing is stenciled with this incredible pattern. Here, let me show you. And the pattern has these sort of floral motifs and tassels, which of course, as you know by now, I'm a big fan of. Look at this, all the way throughout the belt. The light might get bad down here. But I'm gonna keep on going. It's a really long belt. And then at the end, I'm gonna pull it up, it gets sort of pointy. And it's not perfect, it's sort of like the other side of it. I don't even think it's stitched. I think it's like glued. <laughs> and it's there's some pieces of the remnants that have been pieced together, and I believe it's glued as well. <laughs> Wild, right? So it's just this sort of totally DIY creation that I thought was utterly fabulous. And I bought it out of the back of a beat up old van from this really interesting guy. Now for some reason he put only one single buckle. It would have been awesome if he had done two because then you could do the loop-de-loop -loop through that. So it's a little sometimes tricky to get it to cooperate, but I have worn this many times over the years. And it is just one of my favorite possessions. I wish I remembered the guy's name. I have no idea. I just know it was on Broadway between Prince and Spring and uh, literally on the street. Fabulous. Just to show you, and this belt is my favorite. I have another one by him. I have a few actually by him. But um, here's another one. And that seems, that's a little bit more of an obvious stencil, but it's still fabulous, you know, if you want a different color or a different shape buckle. Neato, huh? Item number two is another modern item. Here it's coming. Bear with me. <laughs> Enjoy my bedspread, isn't it lovely? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Look at these wild shoes. Oh, these have always been my favorite and I haven't had a chance to wear them very often because they're, they're kind of a weird shape in terms of the front. See, they cut low on your leg in the front. <laughs> See? And they're an old, they were on sale, this is years ago, about the same time period. They reminded me of the Chrysler building and David Bowie. So I was like, oh, I gotta have these. And they were on like a clearance and that's back when, I don't know if she even makes shoes anymore, it was Rachel Roy shoes. And I love these. And I don't know if many of you know, and probably nobody really knows, I don't say much, but always wanted to do a Chrysler building act, especially because Mr. Gotham's office is in the Chrysler building. Uh, makes me feel like I should be the one to do that. And I always thought these shoes would rock that, right? Even though they're not practical to dance in at all. But aren't they amazing? I'm gonna zoom in on them for you. So space age. And they're, you know, leather. They're silver, obviously, with that cutout. 
very futuristic. I just thought you'd appreciate them. Here's the back. Dun, dun, dun. So hopefully someday I'll be able to wear them in, in a really neat performance for you. Love it. Last item I have for you is vintage. And it's from the estate of uh, this woman who was a, I mentioned her in previous um, episodes. Oof, look at that. She was a vocal coach to a lot of celebrities. Um, I also personally think she was a performer on the side. Um, maybe a burlesque performer because of her wardrobe. It's amazing. This is a little capelet. Let me zoom out so you can see. Okay, so it's a, it's a short cape, so it doesn't have any arm slits or anything. And it's a cream wool with the most divine golden metallic thread embroidery that I've ever seen. Isn't it beautiful? What's so neat about this is um, I haven't gotten a chance to wear it that often, but, but I... Not too long ago, a couple years ago, through um, Mr. Gotham's, uh, he's the U.S. representative uh, for Gibraltar, we were invited to London to Gibraltar House to meet the Princess Anne. And um, I wore this. Doesn't it seem like the perfect thing to meet royalty? <laughs> I thought so too. Oh, that was a really magical time. I, couldn't believe that was actually happening, that's for sure. Um, let me turn around to the front Ooh, and show you how beautiful it is. Isn't it lovely? See the collar? Just such a marvelous detail. I can even see this, you know, on display in like some sort of costume museum or something. Almost reminds me of like a Fabergé egg. I don't know why. But it is just a masterpiece. And um, you could imagine that I had to have it for myself once I bought this estate. I never even put this for sale at the shop. Um, look at the trim. Look how fine that uh, embroidery is. And it's like so close-knit and perfect. I thought you would enjoy it. So those are my three items of the day. I hope that you enjoyed watching this and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ciao!